everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped canvas that I'm going to do a, a, a bloom, the bloom technique, but I'm going to do it as a flip and drag. And I watched Karen at Waterfall Acrylics do it and hers turned out beautiful. So I'm giving a shout out to Karen um, for showing us that technique. And so I thought I'd give it a try here today. And um, I will not have a base coat or a pillow coat. Um, what I'm going to do is layer the topper and the paints um, in different layers. And you'll just see as I go along how I do that. Let's go over my paints. My fir first paint is Arteza Iridescent uh, Glowing Peach. My next paint is a uh, Brick Lick Relic Primary Blue. My next paint is um, a combination of the Blick Relic Phalo Blue. And then I added just a dollop of the Blick Rick Black and Chrome Chroma Krill uh, Deep Green to make that a really nice dark dark blue color and my last color is violet by by blick rick and i also did another cup with the violet and um flow acrylic white my topper is the amsterdam titanium white one part to um three parts of floetrol the pouring medium that I'm using today for my paints is um, Sherwin-Williams High Gloss Ultra Deep Base. That There's uh, two parts of that to one part of the Minwax Polycrylic. And then I did add three droplets of the Minwax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner. So let's get started. And I'll start by just layering my cup. And I am going to start with the topper. Give it a nice, nice little layer on the bottom. And now I will start with that dark blue that I made up. I'll try and get two layers of each of the colors here. And next I'll put in the deep purple. And then the blue. And I'll put in another layer of the topper. Now I'll put in this light violet that I made with the purple and the flow acrylic white. And I'll finish it off with the Arteza peach color. Get a good layer of that. Okay, I'm going to do another layer of the topper. And I'll just repeat my layers now and use up my paints.
And I'm going to put another layer of topper here just before I finish the, the light purple and the peach color. Just to separate those colors a little bit. This iridescent is very, very pretty, very shiny. I'm gonna have plenty of paint for this canvas. And now my last layer of topper. Okay. And now I'm just going to flip it. Oh, I'll, I'm going to do it this way. There we go. Let it sit there a minute. And like I said, I may drag it. And I am hoping to get some of the lacing that comes with the Bloom Technique, the Sheely Art te Technique. And I am just going to try and tip my paints today. Okay. And I may lip it in here and get my corners. Just gonna let it sit there a minute. And maybe I will lip it one more time here like this. Or like this. There. Okay. And now I will let it set there. See what comes up. I really do like this area and after I lift you can see that that dark purple coming up there that's very pretty wonder if I could get a little bit more of that to come up got a little bit of a medium purple to come up there okay now I'm just gonna try Doing the tipping here. Keeping in mind the areas that I like. Come off that, that corner there. And I'm going to bring it back. Just going to take a look at it a minute.
I hate to lose that blue line, but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to save that. And I'm going to bring that back now. And I really do like this area and that stripe. That's very pretty. This blue area, I'm trying, going to try and keep that too. I'll bring, bring some paint off this edge over here. And bring it back. Lacing is very beautiful. I got some of that peach in there. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to have to tip down to this edge now. Very carefully here. And I'm going to bring that back. And I'm just going to take a look at it here. Take a look at my edges. I'm going to tip just a little bit, I think, down at this far edge, just to get a little bit of that off. Bring it back. Just to stretch it out a little bit here. And now I'll bring that back. And I'm going to take another look at it. It's just, it's just beautiful. And I am going to just torch a little bit. I know you normally don't torch, but because I'm not using house paint, I'm just going to bring up a few of those air bubbles. I'm just looking at the composition of it now. And I'm pretty happy with that. Very happy. Just checking the sides here. Okay. Let's see. Composition wise, I think I would want it to go this way. And this would be the bottom. But I'd have to look at it after it's all dry. But I will get you down for a close-up now. And I can tell you the areas that I like. Again, this is a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped canvas that I did the bloom technique on. But I did it as a dirty cup, flip and drag. And I'll try and show you the results here. This is the upper left-hand corner. You can just see the shimmer in there. You can see that peach color, that Arteza peach, giving all that lacing so pretty. 
that's in there too. Here's a lot of lacing in this area. And there's that dark blue that I made. I really love the stripes, they're beautiful. And right here, this blue, this light blue, I really like that area. It really catches your eye there, right in the middle. And this is just going up the middle here. A lot of lacing, I'm very happy with that. Here's the upper right hand corner. This is very nice in here too. Really pretty. That's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.